This year is about pursuing something great. This year is about the dream that I've had for as long as I can remember. This year is not about showing up. It's about making a statement. Trust me when I say this. The time is now. What's up everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. We're here, we're in uh, with the man Brian Hook here, which is one of uh, the pro coaches in the game. Uh, so Cal, my coach, has a brand pro coach. It's like an unbelievable team of coaches. Ryan is one of those unbelievable team of coaches. I've known Ryan for a very, very long time. In fact, we were just talking about how we, we took a picture over in that corner with Cal. Uh, what, 2019. 2019. Yeah, yeah. Three years ago. That's literally, yeah, that's my first unnatural prep. So uh, in, that, in that meantime, Ryan stayed completely natural. He's pursued the natural bodybuilding dream. So we're going to sit down uh, while you're enjoying this workout footage. And we're going to talk a little bit about the differences. Like, I've done what he did for, for longer than I have done not naturally, but it's been so long, I can barely remember it. So I'm gonna reminisce with, with Ryan on how it is. Maybe some of the things that he's doing in his prep that might be different than what I'm doing. You know, we're gonna have different different rate of losses, things like that. So we'll talk about it when we sit down. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. We'll do three sets. Yeah. Like a heavy, medium, light. Yeah, sweet. Like eight, eight. Okay. Like 8 to 10, 10 to 12. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 10 to 12, 8 to 10, and like 15 to 20. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Fuck that. Kyle loves that rubbish. This is going to massively like, inhibit what I can do. <laughs> wow. I can't even reach my hands. It's like a fat grip. It's just like, yeah, it's going to be more of a grip challenge than anything. Like I said, as you enjoy this kind of workout footage, <laughs> we are going to chat semi interview style, well, just because I got questions, because I can't quite remember. Like the differences between like what you do on a prep and uh, using anabolics and what you do naturally. I would ask like some of the normal questions that people ask. Like people ask me all sorts of things. So, you know, we'll, we'll talk about different. I think the first and, and foremost thing that people are going to ask is like, how do you keep your strength when you're when you're doing it? Because so for me, you know, in the last three years, unbeknownst to me, like I've just got stronger for a good like eight to ten weeks into my prep until mm -hmm. that balance of energy becomes a little bit more difficult, and then I would start to, you know put in techniques to retain those things. So for you, does that happen quicker? You know, what's the process for you when things get a little bit harder, when you're trying to match those lifts? Because mm -hmm. ultimately what built what built that muscle is going to keep it. So like, there are a few tactics that you use. To... Yeah, man. I've, I've spoken to this a little bit on a couple of Instagram pictures or some reels recently in terms of like half of it's just the mind mindset you go into the gym with. Like as soon as your food drops, yeah. your mind's like, I'm gonna be weaker. Yeah. And you got that little voice in your head of I've got less fuel coming on board, yeah. so I should be weaker. Yeah. So it's number one, like if you get if you allow that to get in your way, you're fucked. So you yeah. just gotta go in with a strong mentality like that. Oh, it's right now, mate, come on. <laughs> there we go. Control that eccentric, fight it, ready? Go one more. Yes. Yep. Drive, drive, drive. Good. Oh, wow. Like, I literally nice. was like slipping out of my hands. <laughs> the grip is awful. Um, second thing is nutrient timing. So the lower food becomes, the more important how you space those meals up through our out the day. Um, the, the, the less fuel you have, like the, the more kind of important timing becomes as well as kind of what food sources you're actually going for. So making sure that like at the moment, my carbs are fairly low. So I'll load most of mine pre-training yeah. with the goal of retaining strength. Obviously retaining strength means retaining muscle as well. And, as a natural athlete, muscle retention compared to someone using anabolics is a little bit tougher. It's something you just got to be a little bit more meticulous about. So mm. I think uh, so, so two main things. I know you've just changed your, your, your carbs now, but before you went down, what were they on? Uh, 200. 200. On so, that's, so, so when you've got your 200 carbs, how are you splitting those to prioritize your training and, and, and where are you situating those carbohydrates to get the best training session that you can? Yeah, so I'd have two meals pre-training I usually pre. train at about 2 p.m. yeah so I'd have a meal on a training day I don't tend to fast too long I'd have a meal like 10 and then another one about half 12 one um, morning would be like either a bowl of oats or uh, with protein and then just like a chicken and rice meal or chicken potato meal pre-training yeah um, and then so what, what like what, maybe 100 grams of carbohydrates pre a good half pre probably yeah. even yeah. sometimes maybe even more than that depending on how I'm feeling yeah um, and then yeah a good amount post and yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever I've got left over yeah yeah come on man Get it high. Good. Oh. Come on. Good. Oh. I'm on this. Oh. Good. Oh. Nice. So, oh. sh 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 I come forward a little bit more. Say again. 
I come forward a little bit more. Should you? Yeah. That's right. You look like you come up, you, your angle's a lot. Quite far forward. Just in like that, that playing in the scat play from that side position. Just feels I'm more comfortable, it's just individual. Like, as long as that guy's on top, I'm fine. I try, I, I try a little bit more forward. Yeah. I think the mindset thing was so important. So I remember, I remember doing a prep when I was natural and I kept getting stronger for a long time. And then, and then obviously it becomes very hard to, to, to retain those numbers. And I thought, everything I've learned has just been bullshit. Everything yeah. like, that I've been told, like, you get weaker on a cut, like it actually just wasn't true and it was a mindset thing. And if you've got that correct training volume and you're not doing too much, you're not burning into that energy too, too deep and mm. ultimately you, you approach it with the right mindset, you can get into, like the natural body is fucking phenomenal. It really, really is. And there's so many examples of that. Nice, come on. Oh, there we go, come on. Good, again, again, on your own, on your own. Nice, and again. <sighs> Good, I'm with you now. One more. Yeah, that's one. Come on. Three, two, one. Yep. Oh. Nice. Wow. Just loading that eccentric for you as well on these. So. Yeah, I just I realised what I was doing that first set. Yeah. You, know, you constantly try to beat numbers, you lose weight. You're like, huh? when you constantly try and yeah, beat numbers, it. you lose weight. I'm like, if I just go a little yeah. quicker. Yeah. And you just got to reset it. That's it, man. It's easy done though, isn't it? Like you get so emotionally attached to the numbers that you're. It's one of the things. Hit, it's like, like when you got those variables that you want, and you want to keep them the same. Yeah. And one doesn't go there, you're like, yeah. oh, All that's in your head is like, don't lose muscle, don't lose muscle, don't lose muscle. Yeah. <laughs> every, every rep is another fucking yeah. inch of muscle cut. Do you, okay. do, you, uh, do you feel like, is it nice, uh, obviously, going through prep assisted versus like natural in terms of muscle nice, tension? Uh, like, in terms of like mentally knowing that there's uh, a higher chance of you keeping the muscle you've got? Yeah, it's a little bit easier mentally for that reason. I think, uh, like actual, actually, like the preps are very, very similar. Like the mind games of the prep are very, very similar. The feeling is very, very similar. Mm. But uh, so the principles, is but knowing you're the not same muscles, regardless, yeah. aren't they? So we're talking a little bit about sex drive, and, and this is something that's like stigmatized a little bit. People, people are a little bit afraid to talk about sometimes. But there is a, uh, I call it a duty of care to a partner. Mm. Sometimes that you've got to explain that these things happen, and actually, the, the need for sex reduces, and that the feeling of, of of that reduces for a natural athlete. How quickly did that happen? Has it happened? Do you manage it fine? Do you think it's related to anything other, anything else? Or like, mm. you know, it, does that go quickly? Or, and I'll tell you yeah. the difference, what I feel. It's just the harsh reality, isn't it, of, of a natural prep. Like when you get into any sort of condition that isn't deemed healthy. So if you're doing a, a competition or getting very lean for a shoot, towards the back end, you've got to know that you're making a sacrifice in terms of your, your natural kind of hormone production. Things exactly. are going to start dipping off. You can do everything in your power to try and make sure that that's not the case or at least diminish that as much as possible. Yeah. And that comes in the form of sleep mainly. Like if your sleep's fucked, that's one of the biggest things that's going to crash your natural hormone production. Um, as well as making sure that you're just looking at all recovery parameters outside of that. Um, managing training volume, managing just basically the overall stress load that we're under. Yeah. Um, and understanding the fact that going into it, let's be honest if you're in a relationship it's going to play stress on that 100 and it's important like you don't want to be kind of going into a prep and and, and coming out the other, other end of it without yeah. the relationship that you went into exactly. a big part of that i think is sitting down and having that conversation honestly exactly. with your partner or whoever that is and and saying listen like at times this may be the case this may be tough like for sure and having their support yeah. alongside is, is one of the best things that you can have, and I think. For sure. Yeah, as long as there's like, expectations yeah. managed. Yeah. Just convince Josh to reverse band so I can actually do some sort of weight on it. Good. <clears throat> Stay locked in. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> Strong. <clears throat> well, Push. Good. Uh, one more. Yeah. Uh, good. Yep. Sweet. Right. Good set. Sure. So for me, right, a lot of people think, right, you take steroids, you get mega horny. I'm six weeks in, that's not that much. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm already diminished. Like yeah. I'm, I'm already in that phase. And I'm not like shredded. I'm, I'm lean, but I'm not like shredded. I'm not a body fat that's like unsustainable. The load, the stress, 
the half marathon every day on a bike, the eight kilometer walk every day, the stress of running two businesses, the stress of uh, having to perform very, very well, get every, all your meals in and manage all that every single day. That is enough for me to like, sex comes down my totem pole. My, mm. my, my sex drive comes down my totem pole. And you'll see that start to shift. And I don't notice any difference personally. Mm. You'd be intrigued to know. I don't notice any difference. The, the stress is the exact same. Smooth, mate, come on. Go, go, go. Uh, again. Let's go now, big drive. That's yours. Stay with me now. Stay with me. Yeah, good. Good. Nice, man. Feels good. Go. Come on, then, Ryan. Good. Go. Come on then, I'll keep you nice and smooth. Yeah. Uh, nice. So good. Good. <sighs> the main point there is it's not just testosterone that creates Exa exactly, the Exactly, yeah, because mine's high. Like, you can be in a calorie surplus and have fucking high or normal testosterone, exactly. but have a low sex drive. if. Exactly. You've got a lot of else on your plate, and yeah. yeah, it's not a high priority. Yeah, no, that's really important. That's really important to know. Um, at what point do you accept that muscle loss is going to happen? I think a, a lot of natural athletes struggle with that. There's a phase, like, when you get to that point where it's like, you're probably losing muscle now, but you mm. need to lose that muscle to lose the body fat. Yeah. Is there anything that you do to strategize in your brain to, to help justify it? Again, it's a fucking mental battle because you're going to feel flat which feels like you've lost muscle anyway yeah so even if you're retaining tissue you feel like a child and you will only realize like how much muscle you have left until you're actually full and, uh, yeah. and in that position so um it's always going to be something that's on your mind but again you've just got to do everything in your power to to not yeah. let, that, let that be the case and yeah just not accept it yeah um, i think a lot of people will be two days of eating yeah. and, and they'd be like oh actually you know yeah. i haven't lost as much muscle as i thought yeah, yeah. so that's an important thing to know that you, in order to get fat free, you have to run flat. Yeah, solid. Stay with these, go, go, go. Good, one, one. Yeah. Come on the button, lock in and drive. Good, stay with that, stay with that. Shove yourself back. Good, hold, take your centric. Take it, take it, take it, yeah. Yes. Woo. Oh, wow. Good. That's some blood. Definitely looking fuller. Finally, bro. <clears throat> Good then, come on, come on. Good. <clears throat> still moving, still moving, still moving. Yeah, I haven't touched it. No. Come on then. <clears throat> Ooh, yep. Oh fuck. That's a good machine. All right guys, so people always ask me, uh, which, which, which of the fat burners can I take, Josh, that you take, but I want to remain natural. So for, coming from someone who coaches, who has coached hundreds, if not thousands of people by now in the form of Ryan, uh, through many, many natural fat loss processes, are there any fat loss uh, that, are, that are still natural, fat loss drug, fat loss uh, supplements that people can use and utilize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Yehimba is basically the only one on that list, right? Um, Short and sweet. And it's something that I would only utilize with a select few people because I think going back and talking about managing stress load, that's gonna be one of the things that adds to it. Yeah. So it's, it's just another stimulant in the system that is gonna, you're gonna have to then try and counteract through recovery yeah. measures, get sleep, etc. cetera. Um, but it's a tool, and it's a tool that you have in the bag as a coach that you can utilize, I'm pretty sure, every natural federation it's still, yeah, yeah, it's still okay in so um yeah and if you are gonna gonna utilize that almost the same kind of parameters as you would in the anabolics world of plan in terms of minimal effective dose minimal effective dose like maximum moving up to 0.2 milligrams per kilo, kilogram of body weight yeah. i usually sit people just below that because you can feel jittery a little bit anxious i know i do i sit at like 10 10 milligrams that's my that's my yeah. not highest i go to yeah. um so yeah that's the, the only guy but just know that it's maybe not even a 1%, yeah. and it doesn't change anything in terms of what you are doing. Yeah. 
It won't work, it won't work unless you're in a deficit. Yeah. People just told me, like, I don't, you're in a bulk. I'm yeah. like, no, no. <laughs> it's going to be counterintuitive. Yeah. And I would I was always almost encourage people, if you're going through a good dieting phase for your first time, yeah. always trying to not use it. Yeah. Proving to yourself that you don't need something for like sure. that. For sure. Nice. In, 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 in. Good. Couple more with me. Couple more with me. Come on. Just free. It's heavy in that middle position. Good. Go again. Good. Even if you can't get it all the way in. As far as you can. As far as you can. As far as you can. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. That middle yeah, bit, mate. Man, fucking heavy Ooh. in the middle. It's a bit of a touch in the middle. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, it's nice. Well, we'll wrap up on this one. I guess like this is a cool one. It's a time frame, mm -hmm. right? So mine's 16 weeks, uh, start to finish, pretty much. Four months, like fat to shredded, is 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 pretty hefty. Yeah. Especially when you pick off season. I hold a lot of muscle, right? I don't hold lots of body fat in my midsection, so people think there's not as much fat to go. I've already lost two stone. 12 and a half kilos and I'm not shredded. I've probably got another stone to go, if not two. So that's in 16 weeks, 22, 23 kilos. It's a lot. So in terms of time frames, do you change much in terms of being natural? I know you've been dieting for a while now. Mm. I mean, obviously it's going to be dependent on the person. Um, but generally speaking, any thoughts on time frames? You always want to leave yourself more time than you, than you want. I always say to people, if you think you've got a certain amount of kilos to lose, make that pounds and you're probably closer. Like, okay, double it, double it. Especially if, like, like yourself, if you're kind of a more muscle guy or, or you have been training for a good amount of time, usually you do have like a lot more to lose than, than you actually think because that muscle mass or that increase in muscle mass can actually give the illusion of being leaner when you yeah. actually aren't, if that makes sense. I think that's what you, you, you've kind of found so far. Sure. Um, but always give yourself more time. And if you're ready early, you can then put food back up. You can chill. You can actually probably be in a better position for the show or the shoot that you're doing, if you're cruising into it stress-free and not worrying about still having fat to lose within that final week or two. Um, so yeah, I'd always add on a good, maybe two to four weeks to what you think you need. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Sweet. All in all guys, it is the exact same. I just get a little bit stronger and I don't lose muscle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I just, just like put in the cheat code. Yeah. Uh, but it also kills me slower, so uh, quicker. So remember that. All right guys, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Ryan, absolute pleasure. Pleasure, man. We'll be back soon. Peace and love, everybody. Bye-bye.